today we shall reflect on the life of Saint Margaret Mary Alacoque. With the rapid spread of Protestantism and Jansenism, with England lost to the faith and France ruled by the worldly Louis the Sixteenth, the Catholic faith had grown disastrously cold in the 17th century. To rekindle it, Christ chose an obscure French nun, Margaret Mary Alacoque, the fifth of seven children of Claude Alacoque, a royal notary, and his wife, Philbert. In 1671, she entered the visitation convent at Parai le Monial at the Lord's express command. And here, between 1673 and 1675, she received her great revelation, which were to have far-reaching implications for the Catholic world, and was like the beloved disciple, permitted to repose on the sacred heart. The Lord complained bitterly that in return for his great love, he received from men only irreverence and ingratitude. Our Lord also exhorted the faithful to receive him in Holy Communion on the first Friday of each month and to keep the Holy Hour on its eve before the Blessed Sacrament exposed. Finally, he told his beloved disciple of the Sacred Heart to inform her convent that she was to be a victim soul to expiate the sins of tepidity among them, a task which caused the self-effacing Margaret no little pain and which brought down upon her renewed taunts of being possessed by the devil, so much so that the sisters would sprinkle holy water on her whenever they passed her. It was only with the assistance of Blessed Claude de la Colombier, her new confessor, a Jesuit, that these devotions to the Sacred Heart as the visible sign of Christ's infinite and condescending love received due recognition within her order and gradually came to be established in the Church. Born on the 22nd of July, 1647, in France, Margaret Mary Alacoque died on the 17th of October, 1690, at Parai le Monial. She was canonized by Pope Benedict XV on the 13th of May, 1920.